Hey, I'm Jamison from RogueEngineer.com, and today I'm going to show you how we made this mid-century modern media console. As always, check out the website for the full plans, including the required tools, the materials list, and the step-by-step -step instructions. All right, let's go build this thing. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've cut all the boards down to size. These are gonna be the legs for the media cabinet, media center, whatever you wanna call it. Um, these are cut at 25 degrees at each end, uh, and now we're gonna taper them from one side to the other. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure in two inches from the point, make a mark, and then I'm gonna take a long straight board and connect that to the other end, or to the other point. Now I'm gonna cut this down with my cordless circular saw and uh, do the same for the rest. Okay, so now that we've got the legs all tapered, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the top and the two lower shelves. The two lower shelves will be made out of three one by sixes and the top will be made out of two one by sixes and a one by eight. I'm gonna assemble all these with wood glue and pocket hole screws, but there's many other forms of joinery, so don't feel like this is the only way. So to drill my pocket holes, I'm actually gonna use the Craig Foreman, which is just an automatic pocket hole machine, but um, this is definitely not required, and you could easily get by with the Craig K5 or even the R3, which is the smaller uh, clamp-on version. Okay, so now that we've got the top and the two lower shelves assembled, um, I'm going to assemble the sides because the two lower shelves will actually form a box. And I'm gonna assemble the sides for the box um, the same way with pocket holes and wood glue. All right, so now that we've got the top and everything assembled, um, we're gonna go ahead and attach the legs and these stretchers to the top itself. Um, but first, we need to know where these legs are gonna be positioned on the top. So I'm gonna measure in from the sides, uh, 10 and 7 eighths of an inch. Okay, so now that we've got the legs installed, we're gonna go ahead and add the stretchers that will hold the shelf, the middle shelf. Um, to do so, rather than just measuring and trying to guess at the height, I went ahead and I cut these spacers. These are just some leftover one by six that I had, and I cut them down to eight inches, which is gonna be the spacing for the middle shelf. And then this will rest on here. We'll know that it's nice and level and it's at the correct height. So for the middle shelf, we'll just slide it in here, and then you wanna align, uh, use a straight edge from the bottom point of the leg up to the top, and make sure that the middle shelf is uh, flush with that, as well as on both sides. Um, then we'll secure it in place, and take our sides, these, 
drill some pocket holes in that and secure it right here. Okay, so now with the middle shelf added and the sides installed, we're gonna go ahead and add the lower shelf. The pocket holes will be facing up, which will be the bottom, so they won't be seen. We're just gonna set this in place. We're gonna pre-drill some holes, secure it to the sides, and then install our remaining stretchers over top of it with pocket holes and one and a quarter inch wood screws into the bottom shelf to secure it in place. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. It was a quick and easy build, and it looks great. As always, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget about our other YouTube channel, Our DIY Life. It's a daily vlog and just basically details everything we do on a day-to-day -day basis, including behind-the-scenes stuff of projects just like this. All right, so as always, be safe and happy building. I'll see you next time. Thank you.